Hi, and welcome to the Market Alert uh, for Wednesday, the 23rd of September 2020. So yesterday, stock silver bonds, black gold, i.e. crude oil, and greenback bid, but uh, VIX election uh, bump worsens, which uh, basically means that uh, we had this uh, the last time we had the election, so a bit of uh, deja vu uh, going on. Let's have a look at uh, yesterday's uh, market. Uh, we can see uh, just as the futures opened, uh, prices uh, moved higher and then we're moved to the downside. You can see the buying coming in here and then prices trading up to the 200 MA. There were no uh, official signals in the morning, but then Bailey was speaking. You can see prices trading up to the BRN and the close. Uh, we've got the news out here. Uh, price is sent back to uh, the BRN that they broke through and then back through the 200. But they basically just uh, trod water as uh, they waited uh, for uh, Bailey to speak. So I'm just going to fast forward through this. And you can see prices uh, starting to rise, you know, once you've got back through the 200 MA there, sitting on it nicely. And the same there, back through the 20 bar, prices moving to the upside. So uh, this is uh, what uh, moved the markets a bit. Uh, Bank of England placed down use of negative interest rates to aid recovery. The usual BS is in here. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it, it, these are the sort of paragraphs. You know, speaking at the British Chamber of Commerce virtual event, Bailey said the bank was ready to do everything it could to support the economy, but played down expectations it could use negative interest rates. And I love this bit, to protect jobs, and growth honestly i could i could you, you, you I could laugh out loud the whole thing's an absolute joke um how they put this crap out and people believe it but uh, there you go and they do they think that by going negative on rates we're gonna have an uptick in growth and we're going to protect protect jobs There's this thing about protecting lives saving lives protecting this protecting the other it's like risk is uh, you're not allowed to have risk in anything or actually work out your own risk anymore um, amazing absolutely amazing so uh, yeah I mean it says here Bailey said the use of negative rates around the world has achieved mixed results I can tell you what it's achieved sweet nothing is what it's achieved uh, ask Japan uh, at the year uh, the European Union have been negative since uh, 14 I can see that's a, a paragon of growth uh, and an example of uh, increased GDP not at all so uh, yeah amazing isn't it so anyway, this is what uh, moved uh, prices uh, to the upside. A uh, bit of positive news there, which then obviously, uh, like myself, people thought, you know, what complete and utter tosh. Uh, and then uh, the market uh, was brought down until 10 a.m. there. You notice how the market came off the 200 MA there as well with uh, buying. And uh, let's uh, skirt through. The market was uh, just treading water through the mid-morning. And then into the afternoon, we had uh, the one signal. So let's fast forward through to this. Uh, again, we've got Powell speaking yesterday. Another one. Uh, the least said, the better, I think. Otherwise, I'll be on a rant. So we had a, a potential sell signal here. The market closing below the 20 bar moving average. Prices move lower. We had to take out uh, the... Uh, just wind that back a bit. Do that. Uh, we've got to take out uh, the 200 MA, the close, and the BRN in this area. Given the weakness the previous day, there's a pretty good chance the market could do this. Move the stop to break even. And then this is uh, where it gets really interesting. You'll see this now. You've got uh, this bar here. And as soon as I saw this, the volume is the, one of the biggest bars we've had for several bars, uh, as can be seen here. And uh, the market didn't go down. So immediately I thought, right, this is uh, likely to turn to the upside, got out of the trade, and then prices uh, moved back to the upside. And then, of course, we've got to wait for Powell to speak, who was uh, with uh, the Munchkin, uh, Steve Mnuchin from the Treasury, and then the market uh, trading sideways to lower. Difficult one when uh, the Fed are speaking, and also uh, alongside him, uh, Mnuchin, who got the 6.2 trillion printed back in uh, March, which uh, the 4 trillion they're still uh, obviously uh, using at the moment. So, yeah, not uh, a great deal, but uh, one winning trade of 25 points a day, I'm happy with. Uh, that's, that's fine. I'd rather have that than uh, three or four.
consecutive uh, losing trades. So just the, the one uh, trade there is, is fine. Not a problem at all. So overnight, uh, let's have a look. Uh, prices are obviously in a bit of a sideways range there. Let's, uh, uh, we can see that uh, they're currently above the DP. There's your 200 uh, MA and the close. We're close to yesterday's high at the moment. So let's just uh, have a look here. We've got through yesterday's high at the moment and uh, way above. Uh, we've got the 5, the 20 and the 200 all um, below prices at the moment. So let's have a look at the daily chart, see where we are. Uh, currently coming back above the 62% uh, from this low to this high as well. So making its way back at the moment. Um, let's move on to uh, the implied volatility. Uh, this uh, pulling back slightly yesterday, uh, which is encouraging. You can see there uh, 23.57. So adding to the upside. So as the uh, shakeout uh, ended, well, we'll see as prices attempt to move higher. But we're still red in the uh, color coded version uh, because prices still remain below the uh, 200 uh, MA there. Uh, news today, sorry, the 20 bar moving average, not the 200. Uh, today's news, uh, we've got uh, European news, uh, a lot of European news uh, first thing, and uh, then over to the UK at 9.30, then to the US for some news at 2.45, and again, we've got Powell out at uh, 3 p.m. Uh, he's testifying once more so again it's going to interrupt uh, the afternoon uh, session there and then uh, finally let's have a, a quick look at uh, the Dow daily again you can see prices uh, moving to the upside as well uh, no major selling of the day but prices putting in a bit of high volume coming off that low and then attempting to move to the upside there just uh, have a bit of a a quick uh, look at this and uh, from this high to this low you can see prices are currently through uh, the 38 just uh, delete that for a second tell you what let me redo that um, from this high to this low so we're currently through uh, 38 and then uh, sort of heading towards 50 which combines with the Five bar moving average there, and then on to uh, 62. And before we finish, let's just have a look at this in uh, the DAX as well. Let's just draw this in in case we get uh, a big upside today. I'm going to use this high here because that's the last high that's left behind in this low. So from the high to the low, you can see this uh, different picture in the DAX. We're not quite at uh, the 38% uh, at the moment. So let's just save this and uh, have a reference there for today's uh, session. Meanwhile, silver is down on the overnight and it's uh, testing the the uh, low here to the left where we had the shakeout back in uh, August. So hopefully things will start to uh, find a bit of buying support here uh, for the next move up. But this is classic silver. It has these big shakeouts as uh, prices are forced down but i did hear yesterday that uh, uh, after the next five days apparently uh, the banks that have been uh, manipulating the price of silver have done a deal with the doj and uh, said that uh, it's going to cease whether there's any truth in that who knows but uh, as soon as the, the that sort of manipulation is stopped then uh, there's a good chance that we can resume the bull markets in silver. So again, be looking to add to these positions going forward, and in particular with all of the uh, uh, the, the winter turbulence, let's shall we say, coming down the line uh, in every uh, sector of our lives at uh, the moment. Okay, that will do it uh, for this one. Like I say, keep an eye out for Powell at uh, 3 p.m. and hopefully we get a bit of volatility uh, to kick the morning off. Uh, which would be good. As ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.